Welcome back to Inside the Box. Today we're going to go over what you should do when you get an offer on an item you're selling on eBay. I just received an offer so I wanted to walk through this with you guys on my eBay account to show you my process on accepting, declining, or counter offering on an item. So if anything is blacked out on my screen, nothing is wrong with your computer. I'm just trying to keep personal information private. So we're on eBay. And if we go over here to the notification tab, you can see I received an offer on these Skull Candy headphones. So I'm going to respond to this offer. So it's going to show me the name of the buyer, which I will black out and the amount that they've offered me. So originally I was asking 1050 for these headphones and you can see on the left, I sent an offer to the buyer for 950, giving them a dollar off and they declined that offer, but then they counter offered with 750. So I can look here and I can decide whether to accept that offer or decline the offer or make a counter offer. If I decline the offer, I lose all chance of making that money. If I accept the offer, I make 750, but maybe I can make a little bit more if I counter offered. Counter offering is risky though, because I could also lose the buyer's interest. If 750 is their max, then they're not going to pay more than that if I counter offer and I'll have to wait for a new buyer to come along. Now, me personally, for these headphones, I wanted at least $5. So 750 is a great deal for me. But before I accept the offer, I'm going to come to this left and I see this buyer has 44 stars, but I want to check their reviews. I want to see if they're good at paying on time or if they take a long time to pay for things because I've had scammers before. I've had people send me offers before and they've had negative reviews and they've been trying to scam people. Sometimes if there's zero reviews there, you have to be, you have to be kind of weary because they could have just made a new account to start scamming people. And that's not always the case. Sometimes people with zero stars have been shopping on eBay for a while and are great honest people and they just don't have any feedback yet. So you kind of have to make the judgment call. But let's click on his name. And we see that it's 18 positive feedback and someone says, good buyer, I wanna see all feedback. Because sometimes people leave positive feedback, but the things they say are really negative and they've just forgotten to click positive or they've used the app and it's hard to figure out how to leave negative feedback. But everything I'm reading says, good buyer, hope to deal with you again, a perfect transaction, quick response and fast payment. And that's what we're looking for. And that had opened a new tab. Uh, I don't think you guys can see my tabs, but I'm going to go back to the previous tab and I'm gonna go ahead and just click accept offer. And it's going to let me verify that again, 750 accept offer. So that's what I do, that's my process in deciding whether or not to accept an offer. If that person had negative feedback, I would not have accepted their offer. And if the offer was lower than the $5 that I wanted, I would have countered offered with something greater. All right, everyone, so that's kind of just what I do when I accept an offer. I hope this helps new eBay sellers. And now I just wait to be paid. The buyer has 48 hours to pay me. If the buyer never does pay me, I can open a case with eBay. It's really simple to do that. Let me know if you want any more videos like this. If this was helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers, guys. I'm almost to 50. Help me get to at least 50. Thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.